All right, guys, welcome back. What we're going to tie today, uh, this is a fly that was requested. I got a message that said not everybody fishes for trout. <laughs> so I asked them what they wanted, and they said they wanted cart flies. So what we're going to tie today uh, is a fly called cart candy. This fly can be tied in a 6 through a 12. Uh, what I'm tying on today, this is a must had uh, 3906 in a size 6. It is standard uh, shank, and it is 3X hard. Super easy fly, and it'll definitely take fish. I've used this in all kinds of springtime activities for carp. Thread that we're tying with today, this is a 6-0 in brown. The eyes that we're going to put on this fly, we're going to tie them in on the top. This is a gold bead chain. I use the bead chain eyes on these instead of the lead because I lose a lot of them. And I don't want to leave the lead in the water. I'm going to tie these in on the top. That way when the fly falls through the water, it ends up uh, hook point up. All right. Work our way to the back. Tail, micro chenille. Uh, this is in dark brown. Now these colors can be varied. Uh, you don't have to tie them to this. Just if you're going to tie this fly and fish it, just experiment with it. The body for this fly, when I tie it, I tend to use a cactus chenille. What I'm tying with today is root beer. It's really good um, for carp in the creeks. Tie that in. I'm gonna take one full loop, grab all your material, nice tight pull. Like I said, you can vary these uh, colors. There's nothing that says you have to tie root beer or, you know, you have to tie olive. Just whatever you feel like tying. The legs that we're going to put on here, uh, this is a brown flexi floss. I like this stuff. I tend to keep it on hand. One strand cut in half. We'll do both legs on each side. I didn't clip this off yet because we're just going to wrap through the eyes. Ooh. There we go. Capture those in. Nice tight wraps. Get them where you want it. And that side's done. Hopefully you guys had a good fishing year. Uh, going into 2020 here at Splash Chomp, we got we got some pretty good trips planned. You know, we hadn't been producing a lot of videos. Uh, if you guys watch our other stuff, uh, due to the trying to see what they're going to do with COPPA and all that stuff, turns out I just got to break my content as being able to be viewed by children, which is not a problem. Uh, there's nothing that we do on here that's crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to advance our thread into where we're going to make our head. We're going to work a cactus chenille through these legs. Making sure we don't trap them. If you guys got flies that you want to see tied, just leave them in the messages below. We'll figure it out and get them on here for you. We're going to cross over top of the eyes. One wrap, two, and a little short there on my cactus chenille. We'll come in and catch that in. Nice. Tight to the hook, shank there. Clean that out. And then draw everything back. Cold. That's what I get for playing hooky. Not going to work. Come in, whip finish. Trim that out. Hopefully, uh, you guys that like fishing for carp will tie this up. If you don't like fishing for carp, you can change these colors to uh, green and uh, metallic blues. They'll take uh, striped bass, regular bass, 
mean, it's a pretty good fly. Don't just have to be fish for carp. And with that, you have carp candy. Like I said, there's no particular color that you use. Uh, you can just go crazy with it. It's more of a just the pattern than it is actual colors. I encourage you guys to like, share, and subscribe. Um, go over to Facebook, check us out at Splash Chunk Flies. We post that's where we post all of our fishing pictures. We got some live stream stuff coming up here pretty soon. Uh, hope you guys have a good new year. Uh, till next year, uh, from Splash Chomp, tight lines.